We are Drew and Chelsea Purefoy. We met in 2007. We've been married for eight years and we have two kiddos. I grew up going to church my whole life. Uh, when Drew and I started dating, it was really important to me for us to find a church home together. Um, so that was when our 12 year journey really started. And I didn't like the idea of going around to a bunch of different churches and trying to find our favorite flavor. So basically, what ended up happening is we would go into a church, make sure they believed what we believed, and then we would commit. We'd be like, okay, put us to work. Where can we get to where the connections are? Yeah, so my backstory is a little bit different than Chelsea's. Um, I grew up in church, but it was always a place that I guess I had to be rather than wanted to be. Um, I guess a lot of it had to do with the legalism, hypocrisy, and some of the things that either I experienced or witnessed within the church that kind of drove me out. So ended up, there was a large period of my life where I was actually agnostic, um, walked away from the church and I guess God so I can get perspective on what Drew actually believed. So I ended up coming back to Christ, um, but I guess still felt like that body of believers that made up, you know, that Christians make up was always just one of those myths that I would never be able to find. So I guess I kind of just gave up on ever being able to find that. So over the last 10 years, Mark Iwan came into my job several times, but the last couple of years he came in, he was super adamant about asking me if I had found a church home yet. She said, come try High Ridge, come on. And I'm, January 2019, we were in between churches again, so I'm like, before we settle anywhere else, I just wanted to try out High Ridge. And I think I was hesitant because I grew up with like 80% of the congregation, but I remember prepping Drew. I'm like, we're about to walk into these doors and we're about to get hugged by like 75 people. And it might feel really authentic, but it might feel really fake. And I just remember walking in and it felt like home. It was, people were asking us to join life groups. I mean, we, for the first time, weren't trying to grab on to someone or something anymore. We were getting pulled in to someone's family because they wanted us there. It was, it was incredible. So the first membership class that became available, we became members of a church for the first time in 12 years. And it felt really good. So right after we visited the church, we joined Hannah and James's life group, which was just huge for us to get connected right away. Um, but then in April, we had just paid off $80,000 worth of student loans, which was a huge, a huge stepping stone for us because after that happened, I was planning on quitting my job and staying home with the kids. And two weeks later, Drew calls me and lost his job. And I texted Hannah and she called me right away and started praying with me over the phone, just encouraging me with stories of her life. And for the first time, I felt like, whoa, we're not doing this alone. We have people who are supporting us and backing us up and gonna make sure if we fall, they're there to catch us. And it was just, it was incredible. So I ended up losing my job on that Friday. Um, Sunday came to church and walked through the doors and Tony Spragan stops us and, you know, of course just asks, hey, I heard you lost your job. Just wanted to reach out and pray for you. So ended up, um, you know, just joining hands and kind of formed a prayer circle in the middle of the hallway. And just, you know, having that sense of it was just just us talking to God that almost felt like time stood still and um, just him reaching out just making us I guess feel seen and really part of that body of Christ um, actually doing life together with each other and number one knowing what's going on with our life but number two following that up with genuinely caring about what's going on and wanting to walk through it with us um, was something that was really encouraging, especially so soon in joining the church. Um, so, you know, shortly after that, a month or two later, ended up finding a new job, 
more than doubling my salary and Chelsea was able to quit her job she was at for over 10 years. So, so um, I think being part of this church has really taught me not to be so freaking hard on the church, um, not so critical. Um, and through laying that down and kind of letting that go, um, it's kind of allowed me to be a part of the body of Christ. Maybe I don't know exactly what appendage or what body part, but I know I'm in there or part of the body. So, you know, it was like being able to find that, that community of people was like, it was like finding a new treasure at 30. So, you know, like I said, it was always one of those myths. So it was almost like finding Bigfoot. Um, now I like, find myself wanting to actually be with these people and um, actively with them doing life together, loving on their kids, going through hard times with them, celebrating with them, actually doing life with the people that are part of the body of Christ. And just imagine what we could do if we all got on the same page and made sure every soul that walked through those doors was seen and that they were truly, they knew that they truly mattered.